All right, this is how I feed my box turtles. First off, I get a couple spoons, some containers, because I'm going to freeze some of this food later. Um, <clears throat> we used to use live, live crickets. Uh, it just becomes kind of a hassle, and this is a pretty inexpensive way to um, substitute for that. Um, so what we do is we get these freeze-dried Fluker's crickets. Um, we also have box turtle food. And then we have some calcium, and that's actually all we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bowl, put this water really hot. I'm feeding two adult turtles and four babies. I guess they're not really babies anymore, they're like two years old, they're kind of like toddlers. Anyways, <clears throat> I get the um, water as warm or as hot as I can here. Let it flow for a bit. Alright, so I fill this all up with water. Nice and hot. Uh, I'm measuring about a cap full of these flippers, guys. It's a little more, no big deal. A little less, whatever. There's usually going to be a little bit of leftovers. Okay, so I pour that in there. Kind of rehydrates the uh, dehydrated crickets. So that's nice. So I'm just going to let that sit there for a while. All right, I got my box turtle food by Zoo Menu. Um, this stuff is really good. I was a little skeptical at first because it's just canned box turtle food. It's like, okay. You know, I used to feed them the fresh other stuff, but. Um, I mean, this has a lot of good stuff in it. Let's see, it has apples, carrots, uh, some corn, soybean, um, kelp even. Oh, I didn't even know that. Um, some other stuff in there. And it's really good for them, so I'm going to open this up. And what I do is I divide it into four equal parts here. So this is actually four different meals for them. Four different meals for, for all of them. And I'm gonna obviously div divvy up. Uh, so that's one meal for all six of the box turtles. Another meal for all six of them. Oops. Okay. Now I can just try to make it accurate. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm just going to seal these up. I'm going to actually put these in the freezer, and then the night, the night before, I'm going to feed them. Um, I just put that in the fridge and let it thaw, and they love it. All right, so as the crickets are soaking, um, you can see that the little guys can smell the box turtle food in the air. They love this stuff. Um, and they'll eat pretty much, you know, an equal portion of the crickets and the box turtle food. Um, so it's perfect portions for little guys and for even uh, the adults. We got Beard over here. He can smell that too. He's getting ready. Um, right, Beard? I don't. I don't know what he's doing there. <laughs> Anyways, that's a good smell to have in the air for these guys. But uh, yeah, these guys are all ready to eat. And we got Mama Snappy who's rarely ever out, but she's, uh, I think she knows it's food day. And I consistently feed them on the same day every week, um, day or days, and they love it. And I tell you, I've come to the conclusion that, you know, they're, when they poop, it's like the perfect poop. I've never seen a better turtle poop since I've been feeding them these meals. And I've been feeding them these meals for close to a year now. 
Again, I used to just feed them raw um, vegetables and actual, you know, live crickets, dusted crickets. Um, and their poops were pretty good, but I, I'm guessing that uh, this zoo, this uh, box turtle food, uh, the canned food, is just the right amount of nutrients and stuff they need in their in their food. Because, like I said, I've never seen better poops. I mean, they're nice and solid. Um, they have a nice color to them. And really, when you're dealing with animals. You're gonna you're gonna tell how good they're eating by what their poop looks like realistically. I know it sounds kind of gross me talking about this, but I mean think of humans. It's the same way. If your if your poop is off, that means you're eating something funky. But if you got really good poops, I, th I think you got a good diet plan going and a good lifestyle. All right, so these crickets should be nice and moist and soft. So I get my strainer and I try to get as much water out as possible. If there's still water left over, no big deal. And if this stuff grosses you out, just, you know, use some soap and water and Wash your sink out when it's all done with and everything's fine. You're all sanitized and you can start doing human things instead of turtle things. All right, so I'm gonna take all these crickets and I'm just gonna put them back in the bowl here. Usually with those containers that I have the box turtle food in, I'll do all the mixing um, in one of the containers instead of this bowl. It really doesn't matter. Um, but since I just opened a box turtle container, box turtle can, I'll be doing all the mixing in this bowl. You know, I'll get all the legs out and other body parts. I notice the turtles don't like the heads. Um, so no big deal. They usually just eat the bodies. Um, that's a soft. Okay, so I'm going to actually add the calcium. This is calcium with vitamin D. Um, all reptiles need this. Obviously, I want a dry spoon to put in there. And I just kind of eyeball it. Um, I used to put like that much in there. And I'm like, I don't need that much. It seems like half a spoonful, maybe a little less. Let's put that in there. And again, I go by their poops. Their poops were getting a little lighter and weird colored, so I knew that I had to, um, to uh, you know, not put as much of the, uh, the, the calcium powder in there. Um, I put the box turtle food in there. Everything a growing turtle needs. To ensure that this is all mixed up correctly, I have my assistant uh, Ripley here. She's uh, just making sure that I mix it up really good. Thanks, Ripley, for the supervision. And I'm just going to keep mixing this. Um, look at that. Yummy! All kinds of good stuff in there. So I'm just going to divvy it up. Try to get more cricket body parts with the little ones. I'm just gonna put that right in the middle. Um, and then for the adults, and I feed the adults separately from the little ones. And actually I feed each adult separately on their own. So Beards, or my adult male, Beards is gonna have, um, that's gonna be Beards pile. And then the four little ones are gonna fight over this. Um, and they're actually really uh, peaceful with each other um, and they don't try to bite each other which is really nice. Alright, so I have these little uh, basins for the turtles and we're just gonna um, open this up. Come on guys, 
Let's go. It's time to eat. Get in here. Come on. Yes, I almost have them trained to all come in here. Here, come on. There you go, one. That was the oldest one first. Okay, the next oldest is Crystal. Good job. Come on. Come on. That's funny, they're all filing in according to their age. So this is Nipper, the next oldest. Actually, no, this is, this is Nipper. And then Goldie. That's all right, come on, for sake of time. You're being a little stubborn. Let's get that uh, sphagnum moss off your foot. Eh, whatever. Here's. All right. And then beard. Whatever. Come on, buddy. This gets a little nervous. Leave all that stuff behind. All right, we'll do beard first. If you calm down, there's your food. Yeah, he's all over that. He doesn't. He does not seem to care what the heck they're eating out of it. But uh, look at that crickets. He doesn't care what's in his bike. He's going for it. And then we're gonna get the little babies. All right, let's do first. Uh, Orion, you were first, so you get to go first. Um, Crystal, you're second. Nipper. And Goldie. Look at that. Let's see. Someone's going after a corn. There we go. It's a corn and they go run for it. I mean, generally they're like... <laughs> Ouch. Easy there, guys. Maybe, uh... Try to split up any of the... There you go. Get them refocused on what needs to be eat eaten. Um... I don't really supervise them too much, but what I do is, uh, after like five minutes or so, is I come back and I look for poop or pee. If they poop and pee in here, I try to clean up really quick, uh, just to make sure, um, you know, it just doesn't turn into a mess. And anything that is uneaten, I mean, it's pretty fresh, I stick it in a container and then I keep it in the fridge and then two days later I will feed them whatever's left over, but a lot of times there's not really anything left over. And sometimes with the leftovers, I'll, I'll maybe add a few more uh, crickets. Um, but we're gonna let them eat and we're gonna come back later. All right, I'm filling the uh, sink with some water. Uh, you know, lukewarm, nothing too hot. And we're gonna take beer here because he's done eating. I can always tell when he's done eating because he's trying to get out of the uh, the housing here. We call these death arenas, by the way, because we used to feed uh, live crickets in here, and it was like a gladiator match with them. So I'm gonna pick him up as gently as I can, and we're just gonna drop him off here. And it gets a little crazy at first, but uh, eventually he chills out. And the soak, um, I'm actually trying to get him to just have a poop, because generally after they eat, they, they all like to poop. Um, and again, I do sanitize everything when I'm done, um, so it's all good. And so we're just going to let him soak here, and he's going to chill out. And then we're going to get snappy, and we're going to start feeding her. Now we got Mama here, Snappy. We're gonna give her a uh, chance to have some food. There you go. And we're gonna do the same thing with her. Uh, let, wait till she's done eating, and then she's gonna try to scale the walls. Um, the babies are still eating. They tend to eat for a while. Um, but once they're done, uh, again, they're gonna try to get out of their little habitat there and uh, eventually I'll put Beard back in his cage and I'll, I'll give all the little ones a soak in uh, shallow water. And again, if there's any leftovers, I'm gonna try to maybe keep them for a few days from now. And pretty much these guys are just gonna all bury themselves for a few days and they're gonna feel nice and satiated and full and I repeat the 
I'll repeat this again in about a week. And everyone's happy. And again, I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully this helps when you want to feed your box turtles. And let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions or things maybe that uh, you, you do at home with your box turtles. But, uh, we'll see you later and enjoy your box turtles.